Lesson 5D, Understanding DeFi, Gas Fees. In the cryptocurrency space, nothing is free. Your transactions must be confirmed on the blockchain, and that requires time and energy. So while you're working in the DeFi space, every transaction you make will require a gas fee in order to be confirmed. So what is this gas fee, and why am I paying gas for a transaction on the blockchain well like i said before it takes time computing power energy all that stuff to confirm blocks on the blockchain in order to pass transactions through you have network validators and for that you have to compensate them so they have to be compensated in order to confirm your transaction on the block because they are using their resources to help secure the blockchain and push your transactions through. So essentially, you're gonna pay this gas fee in the native token of the chain that you're working with. So let's say you're working with Ethereum, you would pay Ether as your gas fee, or if you're on the Binance Smart Chain, you would pay your gas fee in BNB. And this essentially serves as a way to push your transaction through. So if you didn't pay any gas, your transaction would never go through because no validator would pick up your transaction because they wouldn't get a reward for doing so. They would just focus on transactions that they actually get rewards for. So the more gas you pay, the greater chance your transaction has of actually going through and getting confirmed faster. So even if you do pay a little bit of gas, your transaction isn't guaranteed to go through and if it actually doesn't, you would end up losing that gas fee. You would get your transaction returned, but the gas that you paid, you would end up losing that gas because it was used up in trying to get your transaction confirmed, but it wasn't actually confirmed. So you would have needed to add more gas to the transaction so that it could go through. Essentially, you can think about this as just a transaction fee and again nothing's going to be free even with centralized finance we want to send money you're going to have to pay some type of transaction fee so with this you want to connect to dabs you want to start earning yield in a decentralized fashion you're going to have to use up some gas to get your tokens into the smart contract so that you can start earning yield or you can start trading or whatever the case may be but this is the way that it is right now you have to pay gas so that the network validators can confirm your transaction because they are using their resources to do so and you have to pay enough gas so that they'll actually feel incentivized to work on your transaction.